Hey everybody, it's Fam321 here, and I'm finally back bringing you some more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 Wi Fi battles. Sorry for the three month delay, but, anyways, this is a match I got against THC Gray from the Smoke and Wi Fi Battle Finder. Before I begin the match, as you can see, this match does have a different style of team preview, and it is gonna have a layout. So, uh, before I begin, if you guys can leave me a comment after watching the video telling me if you guys like this new layout, or do you guys want me to go back to the original videos without the layouts, I am interested to hear your response. I'm just trying something different. For for those of you guys that are actually still watching these videos but anyways checking out my opponent's team he does have a sun team and well in my opinion the most threatening pokemon is gonna have to be his venusaur because if he does use the growth too much then i'm in for a world of pain and his charizard if he does carry the solar power ability is gonna be a huge threat but anyways without further ado let's just finally go ahead and begin the match so right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and lead off by sending out my Gliscor, and he's going to lead off by sending out his Crobat. This is a horrible matchup for me because, well, my Gliscor can't do anything to this Crobat because I have the Earthquake, and it's immune to that. And it's also immune to my Toxic, so, well, I'm just going to go for the Protect right here, just so my Toxic Orb can kick in, and right afterwards, I'm going to switch out to my next Pokemon. My next Pokemon is going to be my Metagross because I figured that Metagross can pretty much take anything that this Crobat throws at it. He's going to go for the Taunt. I guess he was predicted me to stay out into my Gliscor, but whatever, he's just going to U-turn out into his next Pokemon, and he is going to get a lucky critical hit, so that's kind of unfortunate for me, but whatever, now he's going to U-turn out into his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Dawn fan. I decided just to play it safe and not over-predict and just go for the Zen Headbutt, and I am going to get extremely lucky, and well, I got a critical hit, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough to one-hit KO it, but it still did a lot of damage, so now I know that next turn, I can easily outspeed this Dawn fan and just go for the Zen Headbutt, and well, that's going to be the end of his Dawn fan, so it's pretty good that I took out one of his Pokemon really early on. Now he's going to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Ninetales, and I'm obviously going to have to switch out because this is a horrible matchup for me. So now I'm going to switch out into my next Pokemon, which is going to be my Infernape. The reason I decided to switch out into my Infernape was because I figured that he can take a Fire Blast from the Ninetales, and it does, but it doesn't take it too nicely. I mean, it's not the most bulkiest Pokemon, so I mean, I guess it took it decently but whatever he's gonna go for the protect right here and i decided to go for the close combat so now he's gonna switch out into a pokemon that can take my close combat which is gonna be the charizard i decided to just go to the overheat because i figured that it would do more damage to whatever pokemon he switched out into because of the sun and that overheat ended up doing a lot of damage to his charizard and thanks to his solar power ability his he's gonna lose some hp so that's always nice now next turn i'm just gonna finish it off with the close combat and that's gonna be the end of the charizard so so I'm off to a pretty good start so yeah now he's gonna send out his next Pokemon which is gonna go ahead and be his Crobat I'm gonna have to switch out later on but um well I'm just gonna let him KO my Infernape because it's pretty much useless anyways he's just gonna go for the U-turn and I do survive with 21 HP so I guess that's somewhat decent because I'm gonna be able to attack for one more turn and then the Life Orb is gonna be able to KO me now he's gonna switch out into this Pokemon which I can never pronounce the name if you guys can leave it in the comments how to pronounce this Pokemon's name I would greatly appreciate it anyways I just had to go for another overheat and well that's going to be the end of my infernape thanks to the life orb now i'm going to send out my starmie because i figured i can easily outspeed this thing and just kill it and well i'm going to go for the ice beam hoping that would be enough to ko it and unfortunately it wasn't and now he's going to go for the trick and well he's going to give me a choice specs i'm not sure if that was really good on his part because well now my special attack is absolutely amazing although i am locked into ice beam which is the only unfortunate thing anyways he's going to go out into his nine tails knowing that I just locked myself into the Ice Beam. Well, and now I'm going to have to go out to my Gliscor because I figured that Gliscor can kind of wall this thing. He's going to go for the Solar Beam, and I'm hoping that it doesn't do too much damage to my Gliscor since Gliscor is kind of bulky. And well, as you can see, my Gliscor did take the Solar Beam quite nicely, especially after the Poison Heal. I'm just going to go for the Protect just so I can get some more health back thanks to the Poison Heal. He's just decided to go for the Fire Blast, and well, now my Gliscor is back to almost full HP. Anyways, I'm going to decide to keep him out there, and he's going to go for another Solar Beam. And as you're about to see here, I'm obviously going to live it, and I'm hoping that an Earthquake would be enough to KO this Ninetales. I'm just hoping that it is, but from the way it looks like, it looks like it's going to be able to survive with barely any HP left. 
left. Well, actually, it's a decent amount of HP because he does have the leftovers, but whatever. Uh, right here, my poison heal is going to kick in. I'm just going to go for the protect so I can get more health. Gliscor is obviously doing a good job just stalling this nine tails and recovering most of his health. Right here, he's going to get some leftovers recovery, and, well, I'm going to get the poison heal recovery, so that's always nice. He's going to switch out into his next Pokemon, which is going to go be his Crobat because, well, obviously, the <laughs> what my next move is is going to be the Earthquake, so he's obviously going to go out into that. That's actually a pretty good move on his part. I'm going to go for the Protect once more just so I can get more health, and, well, he's just going to decide to go for the Taunt, and there we go. I got almost all my health back, so now I'm going to switch out into my next Pokemon, which is going to be my Starmie because I figured I can go for a Thunderbolt or an Ice Beam and then easily kill this Crobat because he did just give me the choice spec, so that's really good for me. He's just going to go for the U-turn, and that U-turn is going to do a lot of damage to my Starmie. Thankfully, he didn't manage to take it out, so that's always good. Now he's going to U-turn out into his next Pokemon, which is going to be the Ninetales. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, and obviously that's going to be enough to kill the Ninetales, so that's really, really good for me. Now he's going to have to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Venusaur, and I am locked into Thunderbolt, so yeah, I'm obviously going to have to switch out. And I'm going to go on to my Gliscor, because I figured that an Earthquake from Gliscor should do a lot of damage. He's going to go for the Growth right here, and I'm really scared because now his attack and special attack is amazing, so yeah. I'm going to decide to stay in, and I'm going to scout to see how much a Seed Bomb would do to my Gliscor, and I'm actually surprised I took it really, really well. Anyways, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake, and well, that didn't do much damage. It actually... It did about the same amount of damage that his Seed Bomb did, so that's pretty funny, but whatever. He's going to go for another Growth, and, well, this is pretty bad for me. I'm just going to decide to just attack and go for another Earthquake. I guess he predicted me to go for the Protect like I would normally do, but no, I decided to just attack. And, well, that's pretty good because, well, I got some more damage on his Venusaur. Now he's just going to go for the Seed Bomb, and I'm hoping that I can take it quite nicely. And, well, as you can see, Gliscor did take it, and another Earthquake is easily going to be enough to kill his Venusaur so that's really really good now he's down to his I believe his final Pokemon and well his final Pokemon is going to be his Crobat what, what I'm doing at this point is I'm just going to decide to stay with my Gliscor and well I'm just letting him KO my Gliscor but I guess he only has U-turn as his attacking move because he's going to keep on repeating it and well after this U-turn he is going to forfeit the match because well he was pretty much done for and he couldn't do too much to that Gliscor so yeah I mean I guess this gonna be the end of the match guys so if you like the video please rate the video comment and subscribe and until next time have a nice day